having some issues? Lauren will help you out with the assistance of our listeners. Let's do it. Get at Lauren. It's the Y107 Morning Show with Cosmo and Lauren. And at Lauren, if you get into a situation where you need help, you need advice, our listeners are really, really great at giving it. So, yeah, just get at me. Lauren, zrgmail.com. Okay? So that is what this person did. She said... My boyfriend just proposed to me and I'm really excited, but there is an issue that we keep arguing about. I have two kids with my ex-husband. After we divorced, I kept his last name so that I would have the same last name as my kids. My kids are now 11 and 14 and my fiance was shocked when I told him that I plan on keeping my ex's last name because my feelings haven't changed. I want to have the same last name as they do. He says that's ridiculous and not the protocol for our type of situation. I don't think it's that strange. Do you? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. (laughs) Hmm, indeed, huh? Wow. I see both sides, but... I get wanting to have the same last name as your kids. Sure. But they're 11 and 14. Like, they'll understand. They're 11 and 14. That's... My initial snap is, you know, no, my, my ex-wife kept our last name, same as the kids, for kind of that same reason. Now, she's not remarrying, so... That's the question. Yeah. So, you know, that's... Yeah, we don't know. So, what do you guys think? Have you been in a similar situation, and what did you do? Call us up, 441-Y107. Get at Lauren. It's the Y107 Morning Show with Cosmo and Lauren. Our adder today has two kids with her former husband. She's now getting remarried and doesn't want to change her last name because she wants it to match her kids. And they are how old? 11 and 14. 11 and 14. Okay. So her now fiance doesn't agree with this. And she's not really sure why it's such a big deal. We got a text that said, what if she and her new husband had kids? I understand the situation, but if a name doesn't make a family, well, that argument goes both ways. That's a great point. Mm -hmm. If if she and new husband end up with a kid, now your last name is different than his or hers. And your kids' last names are different than each other, but they're still siblings. Right. I don't know. That's a great point. Maybe she just doesn't want to change her last name because it's a pain in the butt. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I hope that's not the only reason. Girl, I would never change mine again. <laughs> yeah, I know it's an issue. Uh, 441, Y107, get at Lauren. Matt, what's up? A couple of things came to mind. and uh, Maybe now I know why people hyphenate their last name. You know, Maybe there's a way to, to sit there and make some kind of a, an agreement. Maybe it's like a Johnson hyphen Smith. You know, she can go that route. Yeah. Uh, it's a possibility. You know, but in in the end result, though, I mean, if, if if you're marrying a new person into your life, the kids are teenagers or about to be teenagers. They would understand. It's not like they're they're toddlers. It's the Y107 Morning Show. When you get remarried, do you change your last name away from your children's name? So, our adder today had a maiden name. Then she got married. They had some kids. They got divorced. She did not go back to her maiden name because she wanted to stay the same last name as her kids. Right. Well, now she's getting remarried. Right. She wants to maybe even keep the same last name still to match her kids. And her new husband, well, her fiance is like, no. Yeah, her kids are 11 and 14. Um, so I, I tend to, uh, man, I don't know. I get it. I, I, I totally understand wanting to have the same name as your kids because it can be, you know, trying to explain. But I think they're old enough where they would understand. Well, and honestly, I kind of feel like even when they're little, they're not going to question it because kids That's, don't know what's normal and what's not. Yeah. You they know, just know what. This right. is my name. This is mom's name. Yeah. Uh, Megan is on the phone in Holt Summit. Get at Lauren. So, honestly, I'm actually in the same position. Um, I have three small children separated, you know, going to be divorced. Um, and I had the same thought. I want the same name as my kids. Cause anytime you go anywhere, they're like, okay, what's your kid's name? Okay. What's your name? 
Well, yeah, it's easier when your name is all the same. But at the same token, you know, with her fiance, it's almost like not giving him the same rights to, you know, as the first husband. You know, you were willing to change your name for your first husband, whereas with the second one, with your children, you're not willing to. I mean, I can understand I'm in the same boat. I've had the same thought process. But if I had a, my maiden name and then I got, you know, got married, would I not change my name to be with, you know, for my husband's name? That's one of those things. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for getting that, Lauren, Megan. Appreciate it. We got a text from Kristen. She said, I kept my ex-husband's last name for my son. But if he were to change his last name or I were to get married, then I would change my last name. I don't need my ex-husband's last name. We got divorced for a reason. Okay. Okay. Great points. Keep them coming. Text line 800-500-Y107 or call. It's the Y107 Morning Show (laughs) with Cosmo and Lauren. (laughs) Thank you. You're Uh, welcome. (laughs) Okay. Anyway, our at Lauren today... She has the same last name as her children. It's her ex-husband's name. She's getting remarried. He wants her to take his last name. She wants to keep the kid's last name. So she's questioning, what do I do? What do I do? Kids are 11 and 14. So we got a text from Adrian. She said, put yourself in your fiance's shoes. And he was the one having trouble deciding. How would you feel? Probably not fantastic. The children are by far old enough. I myself had two children not married. Therefore, the three of us had the same last name. I got married. Obviously, I have his last name and have two more children. I feel like everything is all right in the name department. And that's a a good point that someone else brought up earlier, too. Like, what if you have more kids with your new husband? Right. They won't even have the same last name as their siblings. And it doesn't matter. They're still siblings. Right. I think the 11 and 14 year olds are old enough they're to, gonna get it they're yeah. gonna get it they're gonna understand uh what about you let's go to the phones and get at lauren in lebanon dana's on the phone well i i get her point of view because i've also been in the same situation before we got kids with prior husbands and i kept my ex-husband's last name uh when we got divorced for my son's sake but then when i got remarried you know, I took my husband's last name. That's essentially the husband's last name. He wants his wife to have his last name. I think that in this situation, the kids are teenagers. They're going to be gone out of the house. Maybe if they were younger, it might make a little more sense. But in my opinion, I just feel like I, I get the husband's point of view. Get at Lauren. Do you change your last name to match your new husband? Or do you keep it to match your kids? Hmm. That's what this at Lauren boils down to. Um, She's getting remarried. Kids are 11 and 14. They have the same last name as her ex-husband, and so does she currently. And she's kept it primarily, she says, for the kids. For the kids, yeah. Yeah. So she's wondering, what do I do? We got a text from Nova. She said, honestly, this is kind of stupid. Like, why does it matter that much? For him to be so adamant about it seems pretty chauvinistic and egotistical. Why does it all have to revolve around only him and his name? Solid. Solid. You can't argue with that. No. And it's, you know. Because there's no question of him changing his last name. Yeah, no way. In this situation, if you ask, there's no way he is. No way. Uh, To the phones, uh, let's go to St. Robert and Honey. So I feel like it's always, for us ladies, always about belonging to someone. Like, uh, we have our dads, and then we have our husbands, and I don't know. I feel like we should do what we want. So when I got married about 10 years ago, I did not like my husband's last name, so I did not take it. And now I have three kids with him. They have his last name but i don't and it's all good (laughs) i you know when i got married i really considered keeping my last name for that very same reason like i'm not a new person just because i get married i did end up changing it but first of all it was a huge pain in the butt (laughs) it is isn't it (laughs) it's so much work dude it's so much work so maybe i should point it out that i'm from brazil and i have three last names so my name is already like a queen name so it's crazy it would be like like, no more hyphens i'm done no more last (laughs) names for honey that's enough oh it's amazing we also got a text from jd that said who cares about names what's in a name that which by any other name (laughs) anyway